Hey guys, level two here. Um, as was said, um, I just got into a review on a trade plan for oil tomorrow. So yeah, see how I usually build out a trade plan. As you could know, um, if you um been in the chat room or the live stream, um, more or less I wish and trade and look for opportunities in the market anywhere more or less. Alright, um, so let's go through this. First, uh, first thing we had to look at is news today we are the api report coming out which is the previous news um we have a strong dry in gasoline but the crude build build up if you're looking for the website to have a more interpret go to oilprice.com it'll be first thing on the yeah, um, headline so i read through the whole thing we have more or less a neutral day tomorrow we would have moves but we should end up neutral so we're looking for not an inside day technically, but a range bound day. So we're looking for a range bound day to make sure that we guide through. Right, so I have my deviation set up where I got my deviation levels from. Is This is stink or swim, the implied volatility. Now this is just a snapshot of implied volatility. So not truly exactly what I use, but something close to it really can't show you what i use is data built over a long period of time but this is what um elijah's be talking about the implied volatility you can see the implied volatility is 122 to 123 and this would be value areas i'm looking at so you would see last week's value area and the corresponding start of this week so value area high was 62.90 value area low was 61.80 and the POC is you could set it at between 50 to 60 um that reason i took the 35 short this morning as you can see as the trade developed during the day this is just the two days built yes you could separate it on take a swim each day as it is so i do daily analysis and then do technical analysis all right um so that is how we got volatility numbers and stuff all right so back to trading all right so we are deviation level set we have value areas so what i look to do is look to trap the market either way in the morning so we're looking to sell the 25 if that is the low which is a 618 retracement to the up and both side long term and short term we came back down tested it and went up that's a long term exact figure uh 72 63 72 uh, long term i'm sure it still have may have bulls still but this is a pivotal area right here uh, on a fib retracement not a short term fib retracement on uh, daily fib retracement if you want to look at that you could do it like this uh you can see Mm -hmm. Alright, the last swing high, the last swing low. And you can see sixty three seventy three right there. So you have to look for me a macros to your micros. Uh, and then we have resistance in the area here. So you can see with the 0.5 deviation landing in the macros and the one deviation. So we're expecting either reaction breakout or a reaction to be inside. My goal is for it to be an inside day tomorrow. Within range, with a range boundary. Looking to get some reversions because the news should be mixed traders should see the news as mixed and look to take advantage today was a sweeping day you could see make any change coming back coming back to test with the majority of guys are in the trade right now so we have a lot of guys long right now in the trade so they see that as the option in for a long term swing trade to the upside again at least to the 65 26 area um i don't know if elijah would be um would be streaming tomorrow i don't know if i might talk to him to see if he wants me to actually 
run one or two live stream I don't know if this computer is capable of taking that I have my trading computer so, but I wouldn't be using that for that that is for my swing trading and stuff right um, I have a couple of guys working doing some stuff in the office also so I might be busy so we're looking at major inflection points if we see inflection point at before 10 a.m. at the market open we could use the 64.65 to have a short sell for a 20 to 25 point drop keeping in mind 35 here so if you're looking at 65 look for 65 to 70 to sell the readers of the high before news comes out and sell to the downside <coughs> and if it does drop look for the 43 to buy pre news post news looking at the 82 6282 or 6526 exactly sell because I expect a major push one way or the other you just might stay inside and within the point five deviation range and be stuck and just more or less do a, a up and down motion alright so since we covered oil pretty quickly um, I have some stuff um, yes I haven't updated it as yet um, pull up my ES chart alright so as you can see I was looking at my low volume, volume node um, my deflection my reflection inflection point and weekly POC to protect me to the upside uh, still in this swing trade here uh, took 10 points off of the trade early this morning so entered the trade exactly at 80 took <coughs> took my um, 10 points off of that so I still had 2 contracts running rolled my stops to 85 from uh, sorry 75s which is the POC my drop it back to 74 just to protect myself against the POC here made a small scalp this evening got three points from it got the high and the low side today on the ES I rather trade the ES than oil I see has a lot more volume and risk let me see if the way I save my trades are like follows so you can see you sell this morning 8.23 this morning sell <coughs> took up a jet I was looking for the 81's got my take profit filled that is this morning and I trade that was 8 half past 8 or something I entered enter that trade 8.23 yeah. um, alright so this is the sell exactly when I sell, sold it um, right so this is when I rebought when I bought the first time I ex entered the 80 trade there exited at 86 one contract had the second contract where I re-entered to buy to the 91 got out of the 91 on the day trade inside had my stop loss rolling to the upside with the 91 <coughs> got that filled and I took a three point scalp this evening on the second test to the upside before the market closed and close of that trade I still have two contracts running at or my swing trading at 80 um I hope you guys finding some value in this stuff uh, most of well there's a free stuff I still have to do an update on this chart for my trading for tomorrow in case shit hit the fan and it crashes on to the downside I know I'm looking for my second inflection point if it, if it come down to the downside looking for this 66 area exactly get a, a buy 65 66 we are low value area from last week low <coughs> low low side of the value area from last week but I'm looking for more or less for a test of the high which is the um, 2900 there are some politics around some news coming out tomorrow so just had to manage the trade stuff alright um, another thing we could use the investing.com stuff for is knowing when the major markets opening and closing as you could see I'm uh, waiting for Japan to open in about 34 minutes to make up my mind if I hold in that trade or not if I see a push straight through um, I cut my trade short and take 3 and 3 6 points loss already make 10 points to the profitable side so I end up with a 
on a swing trade on the swing trade uh be day trading it differently tomorrow so uh the movement settlements and more other stuff to match up so when i wake up in the morning i do have a problem we're trying to figure out what i'm doing or waking up late and not knowing what going on in the market so anyhow guys um i hope you guys doing well at trading i'm gonna just open my, um, my demo account for you guys so what i'll be looking at during the day for you guys is this is my dashboard for the top step stuff like you can see i start one nearly every two weeks all right um today we made 26 hundred dollars on the demo uh e mini was very profitable eighteen hundred dollars on e mini oil is so so we made seven hundred dollars today what we're doing is trading two contracts on this so you'll see like six contracts that we had some stuff that those guys were testing yesterday e mini i traded some more contracts today because i was a little bit more assured of it that was eight and O in contracts wise on it um crew that was three and O. So that is eleven contracts profitable on the trade. So <coughs> we looking at more or less roll now this for a couple of the local guys that are training right now to work in the um trade room. More or less trying to develop <coughs> a small fund for some guys that develop skills so they could actually trade and use it as a teaching tool for them also okay guys um hope you trade small trade smart plan the trade trade the plan okay guys bye